previously on Frenemies of LA. Action. Today has been great. I love being in this house with my best friends, Megan and Nakia. For the last time, Megnet. What does Megnet even mean? Pregnant Megan. The name of the show is Friends in LA. How are you going to represent Friends in LA when you're acting like enemies? Sir, we are enemies. Ain't nobody acting. I've hatched a new idea. Is that legal? It is when you get the dumb one to sign the contracts. <laughs> Here's one of our new twists coming now. Goodbye, friends. Hello, frenemies of L.A. So, we had a visitor come to the house less than a week ago. A former competitor of ours from a model and reality show that we were once on. Even though she goes by Sophia, for now, I'm calling her guest in hopes that she won't be staying for long. <laughs> I've been trying to call the producer since she arrived to find out why this woman believes she is on the show and has turned her house into a motel. But these clowns won't be coming out for another few weeks. I tried making up for this by sending over their design team some wallpaper, a house tool couch that matches absolutely nothing, and a lamp. Don't get me wrong, guests in red dresses Cool because the Kia stays think this in me a Chinese. And now Sophia stays think this in the Kia in Spanish and English. So it's pretty funny for me. <laughs> Open up to me, Briar. Why won't Guests in the red dress ain't like Nakia since Nakia first opened the door to let her in. Shoot, maybe since the modeling competition. I don't like Nakia either, but what she did to Nakia yesterday was foul. <laughs> You didn't flush, Sophia. You, you didn't flush, <laughs> <laughs> But there is only one problem. After guests in the red dress came, another girl showed up. Then another girl, and then two more girls showed up to the house. When I came down the elevator, the house was full of girls. I'm thinking to myself, where did all these girls come from? Why are most of them built like sticks? And why did the kid let them all in? I, I don't just know. don't understand I don't what's know. going on. I was just told what to come to this address. That's all. Hello, hey, excuse me. Hello. Who's Who's here? Here? Of course, everybody what knows that we're supposed what? to be here, here, right? If you run bunch of squatters don't listen up, everybody being put out. That's right. Oh no, um, foot spa. I was planning on putting you out first. Who has been sending you all here? Don't tell me somebody put our house up for Section 8 again. I live here. What? So do I. What? <laughs> me too, honey. <laughs> I'm starting to think we all do. No, y'all don't, because the last time I checked, it was clairvoyant, football, and Megatron on the lease of this house. Wait, I'm starting to recognize some of y'all. From the America's Next Top Icon auditions. That's where we know them. Right before we went to the semifinal to re-audition for Modern Lanes. Yeah. It's been so long. Well, I know there's some of them from cancel reality shows. That's why I let them in. That's not a reason to let in strangers, Nakia. What's going on? I understand this is confusing with a lot of us coming from auditions and past reality TV shows, but we have the paperwork and lease to prove it. Let me see that. What does it say? Dang, hold on, foot warmer. According to this document, there are more than eight more attachments on our lease, and several of them are listed as replacements to take place in the event that a house member moves out. What? What? This isn't making any sense. How is it not making sense when we're on the shelf? Uh-uh. Who let Rainbow brighten our house? I'm about to never speak to you again. I see you haven't changed from the last show. And I see you haven't changed dresses from the last show either. Looking like you escaped the food fight. Our contracts were drawn up months in advance, and as long as we stay in this house, we're contractually obligated to be class friends on the show. Though I might have changed my mind if I knew the show meant this clip. Hold on, Payne Stain. That's clairvoyant to you, dressed like Bob Ross's Payne Palette. I don't want y'all as friends. And how the heck are more girls gonna live in this house when we only got one bathroom and one bedroom? Who's on the list? Well, I call your name. Raise your hand so we can see who's left. Clairvoyant, foot chin. I mean, the care foot. Mega Man. I mean, Megan Christie. Kimmy Adams. Regina Scott. London, ugh, London Bell. Malibu Woods. Hannah 
Yeah, truly. Okay, everyone, hands down. Looks like the replacements gotta go. That's wishes. Wait just a minute. You can't just kick us out with nowhere to go. Besides, all the house members aren't here. Kimmy and Hannah didn't even bother showing up. I don't know who Hannah is, but I'm right here. Who said that? I did. Ugh, what is that? Uh-uh. Who brought that child to the grown folks' house? First of all, I'm a grown woman. I ain't a little girl. I may not got height, but I can fight. <laughs> well, that still leaves us with one spot left over for a replacement. And since Hannah's not here, we still have a right to stay. Hey, everyone. Sorry for getting here so late. My name's Hannah. What the heck is that? I didn't see none of this in the contract. I gotta look through my reality TV agreements what's more, because I definitely didn't sign up for this. It's already bad enough that I gotta argue with a bunch of girls, but then y'all send that thing here? I refuse. I, I can't live with that. What is that? That's a whole factory defect. Girl look like a Keebler elf. I can't. Then the show sends a troll and Chucky doll to my house? This just too much. You said everyone wasn't here, but now they are, and Sophia, it looks like it's time for you to go. Can we please stay? We don't have anywhere else to go. Whatever, I'm going to bed. Where are our bedrooms? Oh, you must have thought I was joking. This is a one-bedroom home, and the camera crew has equipment in our basement. Good luck finding a place to sleep. Good night. Hang on. Do we at least get blankets? Blankets? How I see it, my house is my country, and all of them are immigrants, so I know they ain't expecting hospitality. But I gave them some hurricane relief blankets, I get them free through my internship. And I don't like feeling guilt when I'm trying to sleep, so whatever, I guess. I'm calling the producers again tomorrow. All right, good night. I'm out. I had better hospitality on Scare Row. I knew I shouldn't have left the Bad Dolls Club. <laughs> I can't believe I came to L.A. for this. <laughs> oh, don't you cry, you precious little girl. Now tell me, where's your mommy, hmm? Someone built like Peter Bread. Look, subscribe, like, comment, share, and give Megan a waist trainer.